I'm Ron Erickson, and this is definitely not Project Synchro. Life was much simpler before I <laughs> mount. Now you know how I feel. Yeah. It's all custom. I'm zoned. I made that. That's a front brake line yeah. with the, uh, what you call it, and the, the, the Don't mix brake fittings. Just don't. Ever. They're already a pain in the ass. Just pick one, stick with it. Ron's top tip. Yeah. Splicing Bill O'Reilly footage here. Fucking thing sucks! One I did. Well, when I pulled it out, it did kind of look like the power one wasn't full. It backed out. Oh, shit. So, well, I don't know. I'm just going to pull this part one and see. Whoops. What'd you do wrong? So you don't let VW guys touch you. Well, what'd you do? I had to, I had to rewire pretty much all of the injector, more custom stuff. And the Subaru wiring diagram wasn't exactly the most mm, clear. The diagram looks like a signal wire should go in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely not smoking. <laughs> Where's where'd that point go? I set it on the radiator support. It's right thing. there, right on. Right, look right. It's yep. Like literally right. directly in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see, that's definitely not sparking. Hold on. And cylinder three. There's the cylinder one. So, I'm check the power wires and then just ground it so it sparks in there. If not, move forward. Okay, where's that? God damn it, this is rubbing off on me now. This garage just fucks with your head. <laughs> this middle one is the signal wire for the coil, for the ignition coils, and then your power and your ground. So, Looking at that, you'd say signal wire goes in the middle, right? Wow. No. I had wired up my entire harness with looking at this, thinking, all right, there's a three, that'll be at the end of it, blah, blah, blah. But now they did three, one, two. So if you go here, it shows the signal is actually like on the far left at the right of the plug and all those. So I had to go back and flip all the plugs around and let Ron do the back. I did one of them and I did it wrong. Typical run, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. But this fitting is not the right thread pitch for that. So what I have to do is remove this, slip this whole thing off, slip this fitting down here, so it'll thread on here. You know. But that's not a bubble though. Hmm? That's not a bubble fly though. It doesn't have to be. I mean, look at the back side of them. Yeah. Like this is the correct flare for in here. Mm -hmm but this won't thread into here. Yeah. So I have to use one of these, you know? Don't you have to match the flare type for the inside? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You have to match the face, but not the, the back doesn't matter. Okay. I'm using, this This piece of line's going away, I just need one of these fittings off of here. Yeah. Or both of them, actually. Okay. Because one goes into the proportioning valve and the other one will go into this using that flare. So our flare tool will only do double, or is it double flare? Double inverted flare. Yeah, double inverted. And this is a bubble flare, which we only have one of that we need for this. Uh, this is actually a front brake line with the handbrake uh, banjo bolt fitting adapted onto it with the only remaining little uh, flare adapter we have, so 
trying to make that work so we don't have to go to the parts store. Which is three minutes away. Well, <laughs> still. That's six minutes plus dealing with an idiot. Actually, the guy at the car quest there, I you were actually angry. I like asked for, I had to give him like, I asked him for some parts. So he goes back, he gets it, just bam, throws it on the counter. I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. here's my card. I like, swipes it, like, bam, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you want me here? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll leave. let you get back to whatever you're doing. But he had like a smile on his face the whole time. He's like, yeah, 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 no. Ah, here you go. Get the fuck out of here. It's like Dustin. Yeah. This is how he operates. I literally wasted 15 minutes last night trying to find my wrench, this wrench, but I had put it here. So I had literally spent 15 minutes like walking around, climbing up, and I wanted to look back, and sure enough, here it is. I just need to buy some of that fluorescent yellow plastic dip and just dip all my tools in that. That. Oh yeah, much better. Why does it keep priming? That's weird. Another diode product. Oh. Test connectors are on. Hmm? Test connectors are on. Oh. Oh, I was wondering why I was doing that. I'm like, why does it keep priming the... What the fuck? Oh, your ECU controls the fans? If you have the touch connectors in. Oh. Hmm. It's sort of their way of saying, hey, you got the touch connectors in. Yeah. Yeah. Good way of testing. That's something. Yeah. I made a thing out of a pile of shit. <laughs> if I can't shock myself, um, all right. That looks a little better. It looks. It's got some blue to it. It was a little orangey before. All right, again, I may just be full of shit, but...
black tilt wheel. Yeah. Nothing but the finest. Got the ghetto lean on the seat. Socket set Allen wrenches. Worth every penny. Not that many pennies either. You want this? Oh, I thought you were going to set it there. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I like a glove. All right. Sounds bad. Just borderline awful. And? Sounds sounds real rich. <laughs> yeah, and it was like stumbling all the way up the hill. And yeah. <sighs> Any words of wisdom? Front brakes also feel like crap. Excellent. Yeah, I don't feel like a bad turbo pizza.